All right, ninjas, so now we're gonna be on our third attack from the back. So again, from the normal, typical seatbelt position, I'm flipping my hands over into baby restraint. So again, here and here, and I wanna keep everything nice and tight. I wanna control this space in here. Now watch, again, as I go to drop back, I'm gonna kick him all the way up. Now this time, when I start to squeeze, he turns his far side leg towards me. As that leg comes, I'm gonna bring it behind me and lock it into place. Now what's nice about this position here is we're actually creating a nice little twister on his spine right now because you, his hips are turned this way as I drive his body in the other direction. I can choke as they control the legs and the hips here, nice and tight. Now watch, from here, what's really cool, I'm gonna push this arm across, keep everything nice and tight. My back foot here, my left foot is gonna kick up and bring his knee right to my tailbone. I wanna not have it against my leg, I wanna keep it right against my tailbone. As I keep my head in here tight, I'm gonna pull up, and I got a nice little knee bar back there as well, which is pretty cool. So again, from the top, in our third segment again, from the back, here we go. We're flipping it over into baby restraint, keeping everything nice and tight. Now either I kick him out or I lose my hooks, I kick him out, as he turns, I squeeze, and I bring this foot over to bring that far side leg to me and I key lock everything into place over here. As my head's driving, I can squeeze the choke. My foot, look, as I push this arm across, this foot comes back, and I keep it right up against my tailbone right here, and I pull as I squeeze. Now what's nice in here, with the gi on, I've been grabbing the shoulder here, but I can work this beautiful collar choke here as I get that tail or that tailbone right up against his knee. Boom, and squeeze that lock back there too. So one more time from the back. I mean, I love this stuff. So much fun, right? Jiu Jitsu is amazing. So here we go. From the back, I'm locking it into place. I'm gonna drive back. I kick him out. I bring that leg all the way over and I key lock everything. See how I'm keeping my head in here nice and tight and I'm creating pressure against his shoulder here. Boom, nice and tight there. I can slide into his collar here, keeping everything tight. I take my left foot, I bring that foot up to me, put it right on my tailbone and squeeze. If I'm a nogi guy in here, I push that arm across here and I keep everything nice and tight so he can't recover this arm. And then I'm gonna reach back again, boom. Get that leg. So that's three really nice attacks from the back. Um, keep playing with this stuff. Stay creative with it and have fun with it. You don't have to take a move exactly verbatim the way that I teach it. You can kind of change it and put your own little mark on it, but you gotta be willing and open-minded enough to be able to even try the moves in the first place so that you can get them. Boom, happy training ninjas.